Yo, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to another video, man. Today, we got a request, you know what I'm saying? I think she, I think she been leaving this request for a while, and I haven't got to it, and I want to apologize. We are doing the Try Guys Mystery Box Home Cooking Challenge, and I know this video is old, it's about eight months old, and uh, I used to watch a lot of Try Guys. I haven't really been getting a lot of Try Guys requests lately, so that's why I haven't been doing a lot of Try Guys, but um, we're going we're gonna, to uh, correct that right now um home cooking challenge first off i don't think zach is gonna win and that's not me being you know saying disrespectful to zach he now he, he admitted himself he never cooked so i don't think zach will win i think eugene will try i think eugene will win i think eugene's very competitive and now that i met his boyfriend um who's a really 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 good cook i think he's gonna try to be you know he's gonna give his a plus ever so with that being said welcome to the channel if you are new hit the like button hit the subscribe button join the chill tribe and let's watch this video hello internet and welcome to the try guys mystery box challenge with special guest social distancing our partners have a few minutes to go through our kitchen and pick a few items that we then have to incorporate and highlight in a meal that we cook for them ariel has picked out a bunch of ingredients in this bag I'm going to open them up and then I'm going to have one hour to make a dish. It's like chopped, but it's definitely not. Uh, <laughs> we are all filming from our cell phones at home. I really f***ing hate vlogging. Why am I talking to no one in my hand? I need a stage. I need theater. So I've spent about an hour figuring out how to put up two cell phones in the kitchen. So it looks like there's an actual crew here, but there really isn't. I'm going f***ing crazy. It's all right. I respect that. Right. There's very little production oversight, so we're filming this the way that we want to by ourselves, and then some editor is gonna have to put it together to see if it works. We're having fun. How, how are you doing, Wes? <laughs> Good. Good. Kids are the best, man. That's right. All the Try Guys are at home being responsible during this pandemic. I feel like we're all kind of doing this every single day. Every day I come into the kitchen and I look at what we have and I go, what the f*** can I make? Becky, you're going to take this now and you're going to pick out some things that I have to use. I'm and I'm going to go in the other room. I'm the star now. Okay, Maggie. I'm going to... I'm sorry, I didn't tell you all this film. I know it's okay. I'm going to hand off the camera to you. You're going to pick what I cook with. Let's go through the pantry. Do I flip the camera, Zach? How do I do this? Matt! Matt! Come out on the stage! Yay! I made you a Campari Spritz. That is both. Oh, thank you. Cheers. We're getting drunk. Who told you to dress like that? You. That's right. Because if you're driving a luxury vehicle, you gotta show it off. So my goal with this is to get them <laughs> things that are challenging but not inevitable. So pantry-wise, let's see, we got northern green beans, cut green beans, ice cream chilies. I could either give him fish sticks, I could give him a vegan frozen thing. I guess I should give him something easy, so something like kimchi. Those are flavors that he knows. But I've also included tuna and seaweed. Knowing Ned, he is going to see these and immediately think sushi, which I think will be a disaster. Made in Peru. Hey, like my parents. Let's give him a challenge item. So I'm gonna give him the green chilies. I know. We eat mostly vegetarian at home. So I got some vegan sausage. Eugene hates this. That's really gonna put him for a loop. You can add some sweetness and toss an apple in or an almond chocolate bar. How would you describe um, how we cook at home? Do I cook well? How often do I cook? Am I the best boyfriend ever? Eugene doesn't cook. You're usually the one who cooks. I'm always the one who cooks. See, the pandemic is bringing out your domestic side. You were cleaning toilets, and now you're cooking, so. So you like the pandemic. You know, I like who you are in the pandemic. Okay, so I am back. Becky's picked out my items. You're too sharp for this camera. Let's open up this mystery box. I have no idea what you chose for me, Ariel. What would I make with this? I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna open my box. You ready to see what's inside my box? Three, two, one. What is this? You can't cook with that. I okay, know you okay. can. Okay, okay. Well, I, okay, so one item is very bizarre. The other two are normal. Let's flip this around. Yay! You did the 
this for me, huh? Yes, because you're Korean and you like kimchi every day. Yes, we have some cherry tomatoes, orzo, uh-oh, a whole green bean, raisins, nice. Raisins. Apricots and cashews. Turkey bacon, okay, so I can make uh, eggs. <laughs> Hey, it's from Peru. Like That's you. what I said. <laughs> like cool. Sweet potato. We have to get rid of these. We have been eating so much sweet potato. Potatoes! Cheddar cheese. Cheese. Everyone loves cheese. Add it to anything, it tastes better. Sausage! These are your favorite vegan no. sausages. No! I know you love vegan sausages so much. I hate this vegan sausage. Two nice size salmon pieces, a nice Keith size, a nice Becky size. What is this? Oh, this is the, the pickled ginger cabbage that's left over from Tokyo Fried Chicken Co. I do like that. That's actually pretty. I feel like those will go well together just fine. But this, this milk chocolate bleh with, with almonds. I have no, what am I gonna do? Pretty I don't place. know what you do with that. That sounds disgusting. Leftover bread, one apple. Oh my god. One zucchini. <laughs> sea salt. Oh no, a tuna fish. Oh no. Yeah, he's screwed. Oh, no. He's screwed. Ice cream chilies. No, I ain't got these. I like spicy, so hopefully you can come up with something good. Like sweet potato and green chili sound very odd together. So do artichokes, but you'll do great. Let's see his Italian flavor. You're gonna like because you're Italian. Yeah. Can you say something in the audience in Italian? Veramente non ha la capacità di cucinare. Oh, this is romantic, was that? Yeah, so nice. What does it mean? Yeah, you have to look up. No, tell me what it means. They do this on cooking shows, but with like real chefs, I have no idea. You want raisins, Wes? You want to eat the raisins? That would help me out a little bit, actually. <laughs> Just eat the whole box. Okay, well, uh, now it's time to start cooking. And I, was, I can still see you, Matt. You're like lurking in the background in this shot. I'm watching you. No, you can't watch me. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere with the dogs. I'm not gonna fail. You're gonna love this. F you. What the fart am I gonna make? I didn't like standing next to Matt in frame. I think these shirtless apron looks was a bad idea. He's too muscular. He made me look like a. 11 year old Asian girl. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out a game plan here and fix some other ingredients and then get sewing. But first, I'm just gonna go ahead and start thawing these because I gotta thaw. Uh, okay. Becky. Becky Havers Burger. What are you doing? You have to wait. I'm making you dinner. Okay. I actually have an idea. Okay. I don't know if this is cheating, but I have in the past made like a spinach artichoke dip sandwich. So spinach artichoke, it's basically like a vegan grilled cheese where you do artichokes. Um, and actually I do think that this would go really well with that. Uh, and then what if I like, like make it like an, a- Who do y'all think is gonna win? Based on their ingredients? I wanna know what Keith is gonna do with this Hershey bar. I do not like eating candy and stuff like that. It's not, I'm not a fan, I'm not gonna lie. Um. Mm -hmm. I think Ned is in the worst position. A spinach artichoke BLT, where I put the bacon with it. I think that would be really good. Is what I'm saying making any sense? My plan no. here, I think, is to make a little uh, Asian salmon over rice sort of thing. So I'm going to cut up the carrot and get the carrot and the mushrooms and the cabbage to all saute together with the rice. So kind of making a fried rice situation there. Okay, orzo, uh, I've never actually made orzo, but it's still pasta. Never even heard of that. So I'm pretty sure you just boil it. That's easy. I'm thinking I'll do something with like croutons or breadcrumbs. No. No? I feel like the potatoes should be the base and I do f***ing love potatoes. If you don't like potatoes, what is wrong with you? So I have been putting together a plan and I have a couple of ideas. All right. Oh, Wes is popping bubble wrap. Oh, what's, that, what's that noise? How do you like my tree? It's time to step up, prep up. Step up, prep up. To help keep you free from the risk of HIV from the makers of Pickard. We got package in the mail today and uh, Wes has been popping bubble wrap. Is that a pickler? Is that Montessori right here? We got a pickler. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like one. It looks like one. I don't know. 
Uh, the seaweed has really got me thinking. One of my other favorite foods is sushi. sushi. So I'm gonna Ario take some of my orzo and try and make it into like a sort of like uh, like Italian sushi rice. And the chocolate bar. <laughs> Maybe I could put that in the rice, the melt it, the and put the bar. rice. I guess I could melt on the chocolate bar, take out the almonds, cut up the almonds, and maybe I could take it just a little, like a tiny bit of the chocolate and mix it with the ponzu and mix it with like some other, like soy sauce and stuff like that. And see if I can't make a sweet and spicy glaze for the salmon and just use a little chocolate. So it's just getting a little bit of that sweetness. And then for the main course, Ariel doesn't eat red meat or pork. So hopefully these will be like savory, uh, Italian meatballs that she can uh, eat because of their tuna. That to me sounds like the grossest part of the dish because tuna and peanut butter is like, ew. He's putting tuna and peanut butter together? Tuna almond butter meatballs? Oh my god, this sounds terrible. But I don't oh. know, maybe if there's enough spices, It'll work out. And then I don't know what to do with this. What if I do, can I make sweet potato fries? Yeah, but they're already kind of mashed. I don't know how you do it. That's the plan. I'm making a sandwich with a side of sweet potato fries and I'm gonna re- Yo, Zach's plan is the most reasonable so far. Like you can do it. Like it's not out of a re out of reach. You know what I'm saying? Form the sweet potato fries and I'm going to try and fry them. I know what I'm gonna do. I immediately think when I see kimchi, one of my favorite uh, Korean dishes is uh, is kimchi uh, pajeong, which is um, like a pancake that they make with kimchi. Maybe if I do a riff on that with potatoes, which is more in the latka territory, more in Zach's I don't know, I know. territory. So we're bringing a little bit of Zach's people, a little bit of my people, and a little bit of white people for Ned and, and Keith. It's the perfect Try Guys dish. Okay, I got my station set up. I'm gonna do some cutting and stuff over here. I've got the pan for the rice. I've got my double boiler. Let's get that started. That, I'm just gonna get this water nice and hot under there. And then we're gonna put the chocolate in there, melt it down, try to get all the nuts out. Okay, so while my water is boiling, I'm going to start creating the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna wash these bad boys. You know, while you're washing potatoes, Watch your goddamn hands, babe. I will say making meatballs is one of my favorite things to do. I've never tried making tuna meatballs, but I think it nobody, nobody should try to make tuna almond butter meatballs. Like, if you see that on a menu, you should question where you're eating at. Ariel might actually like it. Next, we're gonna make breadcrumbs. So I'm putting the breadcrumbs. I'm putting the bread and turn it into breadcrumbs. Yeah, that's right, cover your ears, ready? You can kind of see the almonds. Hold on, I've never looked at the underside of this kind of chocolate bar. Look at this, breadcrumbs. Yum. Look at this chocolate bar, we got, you can see where the almonds are. They put, they barely put any almonds in there. It's like you want to, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna throw, throw this in the boiler. What are olives doing in my refrigerator? Olives are delicious. Green olives are delicious. <laughs> I used to like green olives. Then I stopped eating them for some reason when I was a kid. Then I have my wife made me try black olives, and they were just extremely, extremely way too powerful. You know what I'm saying? Strong out of this world. So I, can, I don't do olives no more. Not going in my meal, thank you very much. You know, people are a lot like onions. About layers, the Shrek reference. So my plan with the sweet potatoes, this is getting a little weird, is I'm gonna try and mush them together. This is late, but I love the movie Shrek. Oh shit, do we have all-purpose flour? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mush these together, and I'm gonna coat them in all-purpose flour. Hold on, I thought he was only supposed to use the stuff that was in the box or the bag. Confused. I'm gonna try and fry them, and if that doesn't work, then maybe I'll just make like little sweet potato latkes. I think you should. Oh. There you don't know, think the French fries are gonna work? This is so stupid. Ow! I cut myself. Oh well. You're telling me that I can't huh. just like. <laughs> yeah, 
No, not a chance. Not a chance. I really do not want to grate the onions because that's going to take for ever. Is he YouTubing it how to make it? Isn't that, is that cheating? Or I guess it wasn't in the rules, huh? Kudos to all of the Jewish chefs out there who are spending hours grating potatoes for latkes. I did not know that was a thing. That looks like a French fry to me. Do not dishonor the sweet potato fries. I think that'll work. Does that look too? Hmm. Okay, check this out. We got chocolate. Now, I didn't think this was going to happen so fast. So it's almost all done. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take just a little little bit of this chocolate right here and put it into this little, this little bowl. Start mixing it with some other things. Try and cut these nice and even. I don't even know if zucchini is very good raw. It's not. It doesn't taste good at all. Better go ahead and mix some other shit into it just so it doesn't solidify. I'm gonna put this ponzu in here. God, it's so hard to film and do this. Okay, let's put this in here. I'm gonna add some soy sauce in here eventually. That smells crazy already. That's that's for sure. That smells crazy. Step one, turkey bacon complete. We're just gonna take these little babies out of the out of the hot tub, lay them gently on the paper. Oh, and then we're gonna gently tuck them into bed. Good night, turkey bacons. Potatoes and onions are done. This holiday at T-Mobile, get an iPhone 12 with 5G on us. I don't know what to think. Now it's telling me that I need to... He's definitely looking it up. Make well. a cheesecloth tourniquet and squeeze liquid from potato onions. <laughs> what the f*** is that? Oh. Seems like they need to get the moisture out of this for the perfect vodka. This is a Korea meets Italy meets uh, Jewish cuisine type situation, so I don't want to do that. It's going to take four f***ing hours, but I also don't want my latkes to be wet. Okay, we're going to start with... The vegan mayo. I'm gonna do about like a. Oh no! Okay, let's actually start with this jalapeno and see if this is what I think it is. Okay, the question is should I add the kimchi to the mixture now or should I add it as a topping? I am thoroughly in the camp of getting flavor in earlier. I'm gonna take a good amount of kimchi, which I guess is basically just, you know, spiced pickled cabbage from Korea. How are you guys doing in your home? Have you been cooking any uh, any exciting weird things? Why don't you uh, why don't you text us some of the stuff that you've been cooking at home at this number, right? That uh, that one that one right there. What does that mean when they uh, like text us? Oh, I got a number. Text me. Like I know people aren't giving out their real cell phone numbers. So I don't know what this stuff means. Can somebody explain this to me, please? You know? Oh, okay. This isn't exactly what I expected. Okay, so in here. Oh, that's some serious chili action. Oh my god! Oh, hell yeah, this is great. They're totally out. Hell yeah, okay, I did it. I'm a chef. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Wow. This is my apple raisin mixture. I'm gonna use that for my cocktail. This is my boiling water. This is going to be my uh, tomato mixture once the cocktail's done. And. Now it's time to add the orzo. Okay. What is that? Hot, you go. Is that like pasta rice? What is it? Oh, chop these down. Let me Google rice. orzo or real quick. Straight on top of the, the salmon. The salmon is still thawing. That's a concern. But this, I gotta. I don't even have. Do I even have? Do I even have this? Okay. This, the right kind of spatula. Oh, this is a train wreck. Don't look. Don't look at this. Don't. We're, we're about to move. We're about to move. My goal here is to make like a nice, creamy, uh, rich, tomatoey sauce with some zucchini. Thank you, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> what do you think so far, hon? I don't know what you're making, but I think it's going to be middling to good. <laughs> middling to good. I will literally just eat eggs straight out of the shell. So this is what I have. I have the vegan sausage. I have the kimchi. I have the onion. And of course at the bottom, the potato. All right, I'm gonna add some sugar into my God bless. Um, that looks delicious. 
Share the work this sales season by starting your Canva Pro team. For a limited time only, that was start a team on Canva. That was a lot of sugar. It's like he's making yeah, Kool-Aid. It's, it's gonna be a little weird, but I think it's gonna be good at the end. So I think I need to mix this until I basically create some sort of moldable um, corals. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm so sorry, Matt. This is why I do not cook. I think these need to create patties that are then gonna be fried up. Easy. Simple, beautiful, flawless, cover girl. And now we have a spicy mayo spread. I'm just gonna let you guys listen to this for a second. You like that? You like that quarantine content? Okay, so update, we have the salmon now on this. Now we try not to use aluminum foil in this house, so I'm very nervous about this. I'm Why do you not use aluminum foil? Is there some with the aluminum foil? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I haven't used a microwave since God bless. 2016, I think. So it's been four years. Very, very, very lightly oil the uh, baking pan. It's going in the broiler. I'm hoping that I will be able to get it all off in one swoop and not fuck up the skin. Uh, we got a little bit of garlic. The thing with garlic, you really don't want to cook it too fast. It'll burn. It'll burn, baby. So you don't want that. I feel pretty good. Also, pro tip. Clean as you go, baby. Things take time. Off in your way around. Why don't you clean something? Keep that sink going. Keep it. See, I've already made such a mess, but at least I cleaned up some of it. Almond butter. You want to try some almond butter? No. Oh, orzo done. Ooh, yeah. Then you're supposed to add the this like it's vinegar. I think it's vinegar and sugar. Hard to choke hearts. Sushi rice isn't sticky at all. Uh, there must be a reason why they do sushi rice and not orzo. That's really on there. Hey Maggie, can you try and open this? I'll try using like this to create the the latke pancake form, and then fry them up. Hopefully, they get golden. Hopefully, they sizzle and pop and then basically 90% of the way there oh my god I hate I hate it when it's on like that oh my god I guess I need more orzo use a spoon or a butter knife we need more orzo pro tip if you can't open cans use a kitchen glove Boo, you're so strong. I loosened it for you. It was mine. A little he said I loosened it for you. Going on at once. I don't want to overcook the, the carrots. Becky doesn't like that. I still think I'm going to get the salmon mostly done before I put on the glaze. Becky doesn't like that. Becky doesn't like that. <laughs> I just worry about this chocolate based glaze. Ugh. Burning, but I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna have, let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. Mm, don't do it. Meatballs. Ooh, okay. They're a little... They don't look that bad. A little bit brown. That's nice. All right, now I just need to mix my meatballs into my sauce and then make my cocktail. Actually, that's delicious. Oh, and a little secret heat on the end. Holy shit. Chocolate's really good. <laughs> I just found we have some secret <laughs> truffle salt in the spice drawer so i'm gonna put that in the pasta sauce and maybe it'll give it that extra little like Mwah. does this look like food this look like food it smells pretty good though i i'm not gonna lie this is the most effort i've put into any food ever in my life this is what everybody's broiler looks like right just a confusing pan that just is abandoned there oh look to the toasted nuts and almonds. Of course, a little bit of butter never hurt no one. Oh, that doesn't look half bad. Am I a chef? Am I a chef? Just to reconnecting the gang. Am I a chef? Who we used to be. Am I a chef? Am I a chef? 
Artichoke hearts. Okay. This pro part's probably not that interesting, huh? So, uh, what else have you guys been up to? Have you read any good books lately? Maybe cultivated a new hobby? I hope you're staying inside and taking this seriously, or else what the f are the rest of us doing? Stay inside. All right, so these are my fried Korean latkes, and I'm going to go ahead just to give them some extra time to cook. I'm gonna put them into the oven. My sushi orzo is still really just like, look at this, it is just slipping all around, not congealing at all. So I'm putting some of it on a paper towel and I'm gonna try and suck out all the moisture and then maybe it'll be sticky. I'm a little behind, I gotta catch up. I texted Keith a picture of the sweet potato and he's like, what if you make fries? And I'm like, well, they're already mushy. He's like, what if you make latkes for Passover? That's what I'm doing. It's been literally minutes and the salmon is already getting there, so it's time to glaze. Let's bring this bad boy up and do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, just as my ancestors made eons ago. Latkes, what is that? Have made the perfect latka. Up here, quickly glaze, then return it. Okay, okay, okay. Potato pancakes. I'm so sorry to all of our Jewish fans. I have let you down. Wow, look at that. That was so beautiful. Look at that. Uh, I'm it's like check this without the camera. <laughs> Unless I can kind of wedge it into this. <laughs> I'm just been wedging things up, but I can't. No, it won't. No, it won't stay there. Okay, it's not gonna stay there. Okay, just wait. Okay, pretty much everything is in process. It's now time for the final challenge. That is to make my little sushi rolls. As you may recall, I put paper towel on the sushi rice to try and make it stickier. And let's see, well it's stickier, it's sticking to the paper towel. Okay, I have thrown the glaze, it's very thin. It's thinner than I thought. Scroll it, glaze, a lot of the glaze has gone on another pan. Okay, so a lot of glaze is next to the salmon. So we'll see how that goes. Now the real question is, Will I successfully be able to get this stuff to stick? I need a little water. All right, got a little tiny sushi roll thing. I got some orzo. This is the wackiest thing ever. This is it terrible. Is, it it's a terrible stickier. idea. Now that it's all dry, oh my God, is this actually going to work? Are you eating a snack? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, roll it. Roll it, roll it, come on. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. I'm just gonna top some of these with a healthy dose of, oops, Well, now the oven is covered in cheese. Oh well, that's gonna kill me for that. Okay, now it's time to put it all together. I'm gonna spread the spicy mayo over the bread, add the uh, artichoke heart and spinach concoction, and then Add the bacon. We're in the final stretch here. We've got everything going, but this needs some seasoning. Soy sauce. Me, 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Rice oh. down. I know it like no one can smell this, but it actually does smell very good. Cook, did you toast these? No, not yet. I'm gonna do it on the stove top. Now we put these on the stove top over medium heat. Now I put this over the stove top and I press and let heat do its thing. Now we're gonna cook these for like two, three minutes. So if you wanna cut somebody else, like fucking up and then cut back to me doing awesome, you should do that. Oh no, it's falling apart. Well, uh, I definitely have orzo falling apart everywhere. That was a bad uh, idea. Uh, this one totally fell apart. Ah! Wash as you go, but also maybe not right now because I'm very stressed. Uh, I want to have to wash my hands. <laughs> the salmon is confusing. Oh yeah, there's a lot of burning happening, but not the salmon. Just the just the glaze on the on the pan. Okay, needs a little more time. It's the chocolate. Let me tell you what. I'm a little worried. The chocolate smell, very there. Can smell the chocolate. And here's my little zucchini sushi roll. Let's check it out. Oh, mm -mm. that's a thing. I don't know if it'll taste good, but it's a thing. Uh, that yeah. looks good. That looks That's good. That's a thing. Yummy yum. Mm. 
This looks good too. It's actually smell delicious. All right, it's cocktail time. I think Ned did the worst. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the sushi roll is just not working out. Um, I've got some sake, some gin. <laughs> I've got our lovely sugar and apple mixture. All right, I'm gonna strain my apple sugar mixture. Okay, I just opened this up to see how we're doing. This is the old fork test. Turn it and place it apart. It's done. It's done. It's done. Get it out of there. All right. So it's done. It's done. It's done. Get it voila, out. Voila. I have completed. Yo, his looks nice. But he's going to have the hardest, the toughest, most very honest critiquer. Critiquer, is that even a word? I don't know. Matt is just going to just gonna be on. I don't even know. Actually, I don't know. I've only seen Matt like one or two times. My dish. I only have one judge that will judge me. And that's God. No, it's not God. It's Matt. Matt, you ready? This. I think she's gonna be happy with it. It's pretty nice. Let's go. Keeps looks good too. Like I would eat that. Like if I seen that in a rush at a restaurant, I would order that. If I seen Eugene's, I would order that. If I seen Ned's, I mean Zach's, I would order that. Ned's, I'm, I'm not ordering that. Ned, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't drink. She just cleaned the table. Becky! 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 It's time. Oh, Bone apple tea. So, Maggie, for your lunch, we have a spinach artichoke turkey bacon sandwich with a side of sweet potato latkes. Is there latkes? Uh, okay, so, are you gonna open your eyes? Do latkes just taste like fries? Like a thicker fry? Like a... Like a thick overweight waffle fry that turned into a pancake because it's overweight filled in the the holes Guys. Wow. Ariel. okay it doesn't it doesn't look bad but i still would not order sushi that has pasta in it that's just not for me now that meatball up there we would try that i'm not a fan of green beans so uh i don't drink so uh so I would only try the meatball thing, but I, I, as soon as I find out it had like almond butter and tuna, I present to you zucchini and spicy tuna orzo sushi. This is gin, sake, and apples and raisin infused sugar syrup. But this looks really good. No feet on the table. And three, two, one, look. Oh, these actually look pretty good. They, they do look, like? look good. They look like latkes. That's right. I made, I call these my vegetarian latkarias. Uh-huh. Get it? Whoa! Look Did you put that. chocolate on the salmon? Yes, but only the teensiest bit. I made a mm -hmm. sauce. I want you to get yourself a fork. I think Keith won. I think Keith won. That's tough. Keith or Eugene? Keith or Eugene? It really depends. It's really gonna come down to this chocolate sauce. This chocolate glaze, spicy, whatever. And try it. Look at that mushroom. Ah, the pickled cabbage. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. So how am I supposed to eat this? Just fingers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That does not look like an honest face to me. <laughs> All right. mm. It's good. It's really good. His yeah. does look That's good. It's a great blend of flavors. It doesn't even like taste like anything bizarre in there. I like it. I do too. It's really good. It's delicious. Put it in the menu. Mm, there you go. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. You're lying. This is a guy, were you expecting latkes? No. So I was creative. Mm. You're still eating. Your creativity was like through the roof on this one because I did give you a pretty challenging chili. Yo, I said a lot of discouraging things about Zach in the beginning of this video and it's not, it's not the type of energy we want to have over here. So shout out to Zach, man. Shout out to Zach for making, he was so under, I underrated him so much, man. Just gotta stop that, man. Gotta stop that. Gotta, gotta be positive, man. Gotta be, gotta be positive.
And like, I it doesn't even stick out like a sore thumb. I was I was a little lost on like, hey, I'm still giving notes. This is a tuna meatball. This is really good. This is really really good. Yay. <laughs> Does it taste like a meatball? Yeah. It tastes like kind of a salty meatball. Uh -huh. I like the texture though. I think that the, the bread did good things for you. Whoa. They're like weirdly delicious. They're like, they're like, we should make that all the like, time. Like, why do actually. people make tuna meatballs? They're Whoa. so good. Now do I gotta make tuna meatballs? I think I, I think I gotta make tuna meatballs. Comment down below if you wanna see me make tuna meatballs. I don't think nobody wants to see that. I'm not gonna lie. Describe to me the flavors. What do you think? Mm. What's not working? It's a little bland. What? Bland? I think it maybe needs salt. Ooh. Salt? Try the salmon by itself, just with the glaze, just to get an idea of what the, the salmon itself tastes like. It just tastes like salmon. Does it taste like the glaze at all? Nothing is coming. How? Look at, it, look at it though. Look at it. I know. Look at it. It's got nuts on it. Mm -hmm. The nuts came from the chocolate bar. Good. Yeah, now you can cook for the next two weeks. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all done. No, no, no. That, it was a great time. Eugene uh, cooked once in his life. He's never had to do it again, ever again. Yeah, I'm going to give you a mystery box every day. No, this was great. This was a great challenge just for a video. Every day in quarantine, Eugene's going to give you a mystery box. Eugene's, Eugene's box. never going to have to cook again. No, I do. It's like salmon. I think it's good. I do think it needs a little more salt. All the all the glaze fell into the pan. We seen it burning, man. We seen the the the, the chocolatey spice burning. Mm -hmm. So we can fix that. I didn't think you were gonna make something bad. No, but I thought I'd make something better. Oh, well, this helps. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it from us on quarantine week three. Any of you out there watching, if you've got some leftovers in your fridge, if you're thinking maybe you want to do something nice for your family or significant other, try your hand at making a fun dish. Get creative in the kitchen. Take some of your leftovers. Make something new. Am I the best meal you've had today? Yeah. I, I mean, I am very, very hungry. This took us a very long time, so. <laughs> yeah, I got a kiss. <laughs> Woo, I got a kiss. That means I won. First place. First place. first place. He didn't. He did not get first place. He got. He came in last, man. This holiday at T-Mobile, it's not about how far apart we are. It's about how close we can be. So we're. So we're. We have the time around where him and I just make fun of him. You know, just gotta bring him down multiple pegs. That's how I like my relationships. Just constantly degrading the other person's self-esteem until they do what you want hello hello that's the end of this video um man shout out to zach zach seems like he made the best one the tuna meatballs sounded okay but everything else i wasn't messing with that's just a personal preference um i was so surprised keith's was bland like but we did see a lot of the glaze fall into the pan it just started burning let it burn shout out to usher um and then uh, Eugene uh, with the latkes. I never had that. Uh, it was probably pretty good. I had kimchi once and I didn't like it. I, are you supposed to cook the kimchi? I think I just like ate it straight out of like the like the jar or whatever. So I didn't really like it. Um, and I love spicy food, so I was really ex like excited to try it, but I did not like it. So. <sighs> And then, um, yeah, so I, I think I would give this victory to Zach based on my own personal preference. And it's funny because in the beginning of this video, I said a lot of discouraging things about Zachary. Zadiko! Anyways, that's in this video, man. Shout out to Zach for the victory from my end. You know what I'm saying? Let me know down in the comments who you think had the best, the best meal. Which one would you order? You know what I'm saying? If you had to spend, if you had to buy it, if you had to eat this meal for the next two days, who's would who's would be man? I think I would, I think I would choose Zach's. I'm not gonna lie. Did he have any meat in there?
turkey bacon. Yeah, turkey bacon. Yep. That's in this video, man. Let me know down in the comments. I did see they have a, a Try Guys like partners mystery box. Probably watch that one too. Um, comment down below if you want to see that one. I know that one was also requested. Um, and it's a shorter video, so we'll probably definitely do that. But uh, be on the lookout for that. All right. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. If you enjoyed this video, man, make sure you smash that like button. Hit the like button, man. Hit subscribe. Join the chill tribe. Come back and just hang out with us and watch videos that y'all request in the first place. No, but for real, if you got a video you want me to watch, check it out. Uh, put it down in the comments, and uh, we can check it out together. I'll give you my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Peace.